Okay, number seven asks, which of the following compounds is the least water soluble? So how do we dictate the water solubility of a compound? Well, we know that water looks like this, and we know that water is a polar molecule. We know that the oxygen is partial minus and the hydrogen atoms are partial plus. And so water is able to do dipole-dipole interactions and specifically it is also able to do hydrogen bonding because OH bonds are one of those three groups, OH, FH, or NH, that are capable of hydrogen bonding. The compounds that are most water soluble are those that are best able to interact with water and produce favorable electrostatic interactions that bring the system to a lower energy. So we want to look at these compounds and look at what kinds of interactions they're able to make with water molecules. So if we look at CH3OH, methanol has an OH group, just like water has an OH group. That is going to be able to do hydrogen bonding with water. So that's going to be quite nicely water soluble. If we look at ammonia, we have a similar situation. Ammonia also has groups that are capable of hydrogen bonding. Remember that FH, NH, and OH groups are capable of hydrogen bonding. And so this will be able to do hydrogen bonds with water molecules where we have interactions like this, where the partial plus H on water interacts with the partial minus N on ammonia, and the partial plus H on ammonia interacts with the partial minus O on water. Those are potential interactions that will enable ammonia to be highly water soluble. Now we look at acetic acid, and we see that acetic acid also has this OH group. And so this is also going to be able to interact with water molecules in a very similar way. And in fact, it also will do some acid-base reactions, but even the intact acetic acid molecule, this OH group will be able to do these kinds of interactions with water molecules. The only one that can't do any of these things is butane. So butane has all CC and CH nonpolar bonds. There are no polar bonds in the butane molecule, so it has no opportunity to do any kind of dipole-dipole interactions or any kind of favorable electrostatic interactions with water molecules. It will be able to do some weak dispersion interactions, but on the whole, it is not going to be very water soluble because it cannot make favorable interactions with water molecules. And so as we know, nonpolar stuff and polar stuff like water, those tend to be insoluble. And so that one is going to be D butane is definitely the least water-soluble of these options.